Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. The way you learn how to juggle is by practice. The way you learn how to do well on a standardized math exam is practice as well. So what we have today is we just have a sample exam on general science for the ASVAB military entrance exam. I'd highly recommend you have a notebook out, that process of taking notes, writing stuff down, uh, highlighting key ideas that you need to look up and maybe watch some more videos on different ideas. All of that helps it stick in your mind. So what I'd recommend you do is play the video. I'll read the question in the multiple choice answers. Pause the video. Do the best you can. Unpause the video and watch how I solve the problem and read the answer to it. You get more information from this website right here, both online and also at the App Store or Google Play Store. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Question number one. What mechanical process enables this pen right here to work? A, capillary action, B, gravitational force, C, centrifugal force, D, vacuum pressure. Pause the video, do the best you can, jot down your ideas, words you need to look up. Um, correct answer is A, capillary action. A fountain pen operates through capillary action where ink is drawn from the reservoir to the nib without external forces. This process relies on the adhesion of ink to the pen's internal surfaces and the cohesion of ink molecules. Gravitational force, centrifugal force, and vacuum pressure are not responsible for the ink traveling. Which of the following is a non-renewable resource? A, wood, B, wind power, C, copper, D, biomass, Correct answer, C, copper. Copper is a non-renewable resource, um, meaning it cannot be replenished naturally within a human time scale. Wood and biomass are renewable because they can regrow over time. Wind power is also a renewable resource. If two cars are moving at different speeds, the faster moving car will be harder to stop because of A, momentum, B, gravity, C, deceleration, D, volume. Correct answer, A, momentum. The faster moving car is harder to stop due to its greater momentum, which is a product of its mass and velocity. Question number four. When either the source of the sound waves, the listener, or both are moving, the frequency of the sound changes. This is called A, Doppler effect, B, polarization, C, interference, D, resonance. Correct answer, answer A, Doppler effect. The Doppler effect occurs when the frequency of the sound wave changes due to the relative motion between the source of the sound and the listener. If they are moving closer together, the frequency increases. And if they're moving further apart, the frequency decreases. Remember, sound travels in a wave very similar to alternating current. Number five, complete this sentence. When an object vibrates, disturbing the medium around it, uh, an elon electromagnetic wave is produced. A sound wave is produced, a transverse wave is produced, none of the above. Correct answer, answer B, a sound wave is produced. It's kind of a funny D, none of the above. When an object vibrates, it disturbs a medium around it, causing a sound wave to be produced. Sound waves are mechanical waves that travel through a medium, such as air, water, or solid material, due to the vibrations of the object. Number six, a force that opposes the relative motion of two bodies in contact is called tension, resistance, normal reaction, friction. Correct answer, answer D, friction. Friction is the force that opposes the relative motion of two bodies in contact. It acts parallel to the surfaces in contact and resists their sliding against each other. 
Problem number seven, a hot stove element or flame might be seen as waves of heat because the background there seems to be distorted or out of focus. This is an illustration of diffraction, refraction, reflection, convergence. And if you don't know all those words, write them down uh, in your notebook and then look them up. Maybe watch a video or two on them. Correct answer here is B, refraction. Refraction occurs when heat from a hot stove element or flame causes the air to change temperature, temperature and density, bending light waves and creating a distorted out of focus background. The bending of the light waves makes the heat visible as waves. Problem number eight. An open beaker of water is heated from 30 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. water escapes. Nine, complete the sentence. Neutrons are positive, negative, chargeless, none of the above. Correct answer, answer C, chargeless. Neutrons are chargeless because they have no electrical charge. They are neutral particles, that's why they're called neutrons, found in the nucleus of an atom alongside positively charged protons. This lack of charge distinguishes neutrons from protons, which are positive, and electrons, which are negative. Question number 10. Which electromagnetic spectrum has the highest frequency? X-rays, UV rays, gamma rays, IR. Correct answer number 10 is C, gamma rays. Gamma rays have the highest frequency in the electromagnetic spectrum, surpassing X-rays, UV rays, and IR rays. Higher frequency corresponds to higher energy, making gamma rays the most energetic form of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, number 11, a light bulb consumes 90 kilojoules of energy in an hour. What is the power in watts? A, 25, B, 30, C, 35, D, 40. Do the computation, figure it out. Correct answer is A, 25. Power is equal to the energy measured in kilojoules. K is kila, meaning thousand, so that's where the 90,000 comes from. In an hour, uh, that's 3,600 seconds, right? 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. 60 times 60 gives you a 3,600. 90,000 divided by 3,600 gives you the 25 watts of power. Number 12, a force of 25 newtons was applied to a ball, causing it to move 20 meters. Assuming no frictional force is present, what is the work done by the ball? A, 250, B, 500 joules, C, 750, D, 1000. Pause the video, figure that out. Unpause the video, correct answer is B, 500 joules. 25 times 20 gives you that 500. So you take the 20 meters times the 25 newtons of force, multiply them together to get 500 joules. Number 13, a car is traveling at a speed of 25 meters per second. The mass of the car is 1,200 kilograms. What is the momentum? A, 15,000. B, 30,000, C, 60,000, D, 90,000 kilograms per meter, kilogram meters per second. Pause the video, figure that one out. 
correct answer, B, 30,000 kilogram meters per second. Mass, to, mass times velocity, so you have the 1,200 kilograms of mass times the velocity in meters per second, 25. 1,200 times the 25 gives you 30,000 kilogram meters per second. Practice problem number 14, the value of the acceleration due to gravity is A, 9.81 meters per second, 9.81 seconds squared per meters, 9.81 meters squared per second, 9.81 meters per second squared. So they're all the same value. The uh, question is, do you know the correct units for acceleration? Pause the video, figure it out. Correct answer is meters per second squared. Answer D. Uh, gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. This indicates that an object's velocity increases by 9.8 meters per second for each second of free fall. Question number 15. A runner weighing 70 kilograms is running at a speed of 5 meters per second. What is his kinetic energy? 500, B, 875, C, 981, D, 1250. Pause the video, figure it out. Unpause. Correct answer to 15 is 875. To find the kinetic energy, use the formula kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mass times velocity squared. That 70 goes in for the mass. The speed of 5 meters per second goes in for velocity, velocity squared, order of operations 25 first, the square first, 25 times the 70 times the half to get 875 joules. Question 16, how many neutrons are there in an atom with an atomic number of 37 and a mass number of 85? A, 45, B, 46, C, 47, D, 48. Pause the video, unpause, and the correct answer is D, 48. To find the number of neutrons in an atom, subtract the atomic number from the mass number. So 37 and a mass number 85, and the calculation is that 85 minus 37 to give you 48. So the correct answer is 48. Uh, again, I'm not really teaching these concepts here. There's like quite a few science courses involved in this content. This is really just a practice exam. You need to have a notebook and paper and pencil in front of you. Pause the videos, do the problems, unpause and see how you do. Just get a little bit of feedback on where you are on this science exam. New to the channel, think about subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate you being here. If you have questions, post them in the comments. And I uh, hope this is helpful. Got a few more to go. Question number 17, complete the sentence. When a liquid becomes a gas, there is no movement of molecules. The molecules move further apart. The molecules move closer together. The movement of molecules is unchanged. So the correct answer on number 17 is B. The molecules move further apart. When a liquid becomes a gas, the molecules move further apart due to the increase in energy of temperature. This separation occurs because the molecules overcome the intermolecular forces and spread out in a gaseous state. Number 18, sound waves travel faster in air, steel, water, empty space. Correct answer is B, steel. Sound waves travel faster in steel due to its dense molecular structure and strong intermolecular forces, which facilitate rapid transmission of vibrations. In air, water, and empty space, sound travels slower because the medium's density and molecular interactions are less effective at transferring sound waves. Problem number 19. If you weighed 182 pounds on Earth, you would weigh less on Jupiter, more on Mars, less on Neptune, less on the moon. 
I want to think that one through, and then come up with an answer. Correct answer is D, less on the moon. I knew that one was true, but I wasn't sure about the other ones. I thought there might have been a couple of true ones. If you weighed 182 pounds on Earth, you would weigh less on the moon due to its lower gravitational pull. All right, here we are, question number 20. If you're still here, well done. At what temperature does pure water boil? 80 degrees Celsius. Correct answer is C, 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, the whole Celsius is based on water, freezing at zero, boiling at 100 degrees. All right, again, thank you for watching. I'm hoping this was helpful. And if you want any more resources or support, you could get it at this place right here. I appreciate your time. Thank you.